The one thing we will never allow anyone in the world to interfere with is our sovereignty. And I want to appeal to all of you here that we should not accept the intimidation which is coming from the Western world to us as a country. To manage our minerals correctly so that they are not plundered by those from outside our region and continent. Africa is a hub for natural resources. Mm -hmm. It has always been for the West. Mm -hmm. And now Africa has multiple options. Libya is not Iraq. President Trump had awful things to say about Africa. We no longer see our minerals going out of our countries as stones and sand. That you're going to be blocked from going to America. Do I need to go to America? The United States must understand that Africans are not going to take it anymore. All right. I, I have no time for borders. Why? I have no time for colonialism. When you, how would you say to me, go and change French on the passport and then come at the same time and say, we're in board? It's a legitimate question because indeed, there are many things that are going wrong which are not being attended to. Uh, you know, they are blaming France for all the problems in, in Africa. Uh, we are responsible for, for everything. I mean, France or the West or uh, someone else, there is always someone to blame, you know, for all the, the challenges of, uh, of Africa. Africa, tell France with the Western to get out from their business. France does not have any gold mining. Where does France gold come from? Of course, it comes from Africa. France, they don't produce petrol, but yet they are number one to sell petrol all over Europe countries with total garage. Where does come this petrol? Of course, it comes from the African countries. France does not have cotton, yet they manage to invent electrical vehicles which have the rechargeable battery that you don't have to fill up your tank instead only a rechargeable battery. Where does come this cotton? Of course, it came from Africa. To make the story short, France does not have any natural resource, but yet they are inventing, they are producing, they have become a powerful nation in the world with the mineral resource that they don't even produce. Can you imagine the minerals of DRC combined with the minerals of South Africa and with a new currency based on the minerals? What we can do to the dollar if we become a United States of Africa? With our minerals alone, we can collapse the dollar. We can collapse the strong pound that is based on gold, yet they don't have a gold mine. <laughs> so why do you allow such things? When we think of France, we often think of places such as Eiffel Tower, Louvre Museum, and the romantic street of Paris. This country, it is known for its rich culture, the education system, and its art. Beyond these beautiful buildings comes the dark side of a colon exploitation of black people that they have been victims for so many years. All these fence buildings comes with a very high price of African blood and water, which our forefathers had worked so much and they've been used as a slave for so many years. With all this being said, Africa will never gonna let the history to be deleted just like that because there are some people who don't want the truth to be known. There are some people who are using their media to hide all the crime and all the bad things that they have done to a black person. How possible is it that you are having gold in your reserve bank but yet you don't produce gold? For example, can the UK have the courage to tell the world how possible they manage to invent a car full of gold, a car that belongs to the king or queen only, and this car is full of gold when they don't even have a gold mining in their country? The colonization of Africa was not something that it was a joke to these people because whenever they were in Africa, they were making sure that they get to benefit something from the African countries and they succeed to do so. When it was about time for them to leave Africa, since they had tested this beef soup from Africa, they did not want to leave. They live physically, but their spirit and their mind 
steal over Africa. That is the reason why they continue looting Africa from far. They get to impose their puppet government in Africa. They get to choose who have to lead the Africa countries so that they will be able to tell this puppet government of what they want from them and they'll get it more easy without having any challenge in their ways. And here we're talking about France. The Republic of France, they are this small, but yet they managed to colonize more than 33 countries in Africa. And thanks to these 33 countries, they had managed to make France to become what it is today. This is not something that we are making up. This is something that even themselves, they had to confirm it. Look at here. This is the former president of the Republic of France, Jacques Chirac, who had to come and tell them face to face that, guys, we need to respect Africa because everything we have, it is all thanks to Africa. We don't need to bite the hand that feed us. Jack Chirac, when he made this announcement, he was still in power. And no one had contradicted him of what he had said because it was the truth. They always said that, always speak the truth, the truth will set you free. Now look here, things are getting even more ugly around the world as we're talking right now. We all know what has been going on in the Ukraine and the Russia conflict. And we all know that this war, it is all about NATO trying to attack Russia. At first, they thought that it was going to be easy for them to defeat Russia, isn't it? But unfortunately, that did not happen because days are keep on going and people are dying, yet Russia is not being defeated and is still trying to stand. They impose their sanctions, they say everything, yet Russia is still managing to survive. So, they had this one guarantee, knowing that as we trying to bring this conflict around the world we need to have africa by our side and in order for them to have africa by their side they need some alliance of nato country who have to come and guarantee them that no don't worry we got africa here they always obey to us they always listen to us we have our puppet government around africa they'll listen to us and they'll be able to give us their mineral resource in order for us to produce every guns or weapons that we need in order for us to defeat russia and the country which had to give that assurance it was france because they believed that since they had a lot of african countries that they were controlling things was going to be more easy for them but unfortunately after making all these promises to the us and the nato countries they were expecting to see all this in actions that was not the case Instead, things changed around for them when they went in the United Nations and trying to vote against Russia. They end up seeing that all the African countries, they don't want to stand against Russia. Some of them, they prefer to remain in neutral. Some of them, they went straight away and vote in favor of Russia. Since then, things never been the same. They start putting pressure on African countries in order for them to vote against Russia. They even start threatening African countries with sanctions on something that they did not do. All because some of these African countries decided to remain neutral in all this conflict well they were doing all these things because they had believed that it will work for them as they always do time to time whenever they want to punish you whenever they want to screw your government whenever they want to destroy your economy they have to make sure that they put sanction on you so that you go on your knees and go and beg them with their world organizations so that they'll give you some loans which they expect you to pay them with your natural resource and these are the things that they've been doing for so many years Unfortunately for them, this time it will not work because Africans have understood that these are their strategies that they usually apply time to time in order for them to put you on your knees. And Africans, they are now waking up where it is African leaders, they are running away from being puppet presidents to become a true pan Africans and try to fight and try to defend the right of Africans all over Africa continent. African leaders, they are now speaking their mind without being afraid of anyone out there. They are now trying to defend the Africa mineral resource and all Africans inside Africa continent without letting anyone to impose them. Whether they've been waiting for these people as a puppet government, that is not the case anymore. Now they are trying to defend the Africa mineral. Look at here. This is the President of the Republic of South Africa, President Cyril Ramaphosa. He was visiting the Republic of Congo. A BBC journalist had to ask him this question saying that you guys you have what the world needed today you guys you have what the europe need today and you don't need to keep it for yourself you need to make sure that europe benefit from it as well have listened for yourself what president ramaphosa give her as a response our two countries have a lot of resources resources that are attracting everyone in the world 
And uh, we have said that through our ministers of minerals and energy, C has enormous endowments when it comes to minerals, particularly strategic and critical minerals. South Africa also has the same, and a number of other countries. And the idea that we should have a minerals commission, which will assist all of us, particularly in SADC, to manage our minerals correctly so that they are not plundered by those from outside our region and continent, so that we establish policies, so that we are able to attract investments together to beneficiate our minerals so that we no longer see our minerals going out of our countries as stones and sand. We should see us exporting products made in our own countries out of the minerals that we, we produce. This kind of answer, I bet before, a lot of African leaders, they were afraid to have this kind of courage to speak about it. I'm going to give you a very simple example. I know one of African leaders, Roden Desiree Kabila, who was assassinated only because he had given this kind of response when the U.S. had asked him to let go of his mineral. That was when he was visiting America. But when he arrived in his country, he then responded back to Americans and telling them that I'm not going to give you any minerals. If you want to get any minerals, you must come by the big door and let us sit down and negotiate. Not you trying to impose me or tell me what to do with my own minerals. This man end up being killed by the western and they have done so with so many african leaders but today things have changed around when you are having people such as president ramaphosa or president Tisekeji and many african leaders who are having this courage to talk like this about african minerals that it's something that we always talk about and things are going well in our favor Africa mineral, it has become in the center of all the problems that we are getting to see in the world today. Whether it is Russia, they need Africa mineral. Whether it is China, they need Africa minerals. Whether it is the US, they need Africa mineral. Whether it is the Europe, they need Africa mineral. When we combine all of them together, they are nothing without Africa. But the point here is that when you look the way they are negotiating in order for them to have this African mineral, trust me, most of these countries that I mentioned, they are taking advantage of Africa because of the things that they used to do back in days. Things that they never even tried to apologize to Africans. And they believe that they still have that power over Africans in order for them to come and do whatever they want to do. And here I'm referring to the countries which had colonized African countries. As for the rest of the countries such as China and Russia, they never really imposed their leadership in Africa. Instead, they have these things of win-win. They come to you, they try to talk with you, and if it happens that you approve their partnership, then they work with you. Simple as that. But what do we get to see with these other countries? They still don't have that respect for Africa. They still have to see Africa as nothing before their eyes. And that is what had woken up all the African and all African leaders that are now passing the message which you've been complaining about. They are now having the courage to tell them that no, look, we don't want to deal with you anymore. If you are having your problems, just go and deal with your own mess and don't get us involved in your business. So guys, Africa, they are not trying to build a good relationship with a person who can respect them, a person who can approach them with that due respect that they deserve in order for them to start selling them their minerals. So as for the rest of the country, we still have to come and impose their sanctions on Africa just because maybe they do not want to obey on one, two, three things that they are requesting from African countries. Then, this kind of people, Africans, they don't want to deal with them. Africans are now more focused on people who can come with that respect. And here, number one that they have thrown outside of the gate already, that is France. Africa countries ask France to leave Africa because they don't want to have anything to do with France. And they had realized that the time is now more than ever. That is the spirit. That is how things are supposed to be done. That is how you can even get respect from everyone out there. When you have the courage 
to stand out there and speak about Africa and defend your right as African child. This was a very important message that I wanted to discuss with you to let you know at what point Africans are so determined to let go of all this open eye must outside of the Africa continent. Africans are so determined to let go of all this open eye mass system to be outside of Africa continent because they don't want to have anything to do with them. What they have looted Africa, what they have stolen from African countries, that will be enough for them. They have to move on with their life. Africans also should see on how they can start rebuilding their beautiful continent. If you find anything beneficial in this video, Please make sure that you don't leave without giving us your thumbs up and make sure that you share this video with everyone out there so that this message can reach to many people around the world, especially Africans who have a big role to play in this as well. If this is your first time to watch our videos, very simple, just click that subscribe button and uh, we'll really do appreciate to have you here because on this channel, we do educate, we do talk about Africa, we do try to keep the history of Africa alive because medias out there, they are medias. They will never gonna try to discuss these kind of things. They don't even want to teach it to their children in the school. How about them coming on the media and talk about these kind of things? That is why we're here to make sure that we get to discuss all these matters and keep the history of Africa alive. Thank you so much for watching this video up to now. It was very important that we discuss all this with you. For now, continue to be yourself. Be good, be kind, have respect for everyone in order for you to be respected. May God bless you all. Run out of the trouble because we still need you here. Stay tuned. I'll see you again very soon. Ciao, ciao.